Am I really gonna post this on the internet? Why <laughs> <Try> not? <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. C, aka my big brother. He is a dentist and we are going to play with some laughing gas today. <laughs> I'm not on it yet, I'm just really excited. What we're gonna do is get Juliana to feel comfortable in laughing gas, which is a type of sedation used in many dental offices. I use it frequently for children and in some smaller adults, it's very safe and has been used for over 100, 150 years in dentistry. Which really? Is cool. Oh yeah. This is strictly for educational purposes and for a good time. I don't have any dental work happening to me. We're just having some fun today. Let's get started. I'm kind of nervous. No, we'll be fine. Okay. I have never been on laughing gas. This is my very first time and I'm learning about this along with you guys. This right here is the star of the show. This is the, the nitrous carp. It has a few tanks on here. Green for oxygen, blue for the actual laughing gas. Our brain functions on oxygen and when we take in the laughing gas, our brain is not getting as much oxygen as it would like. We do know that it does allow for the release of dopamine, which is the feel good hormone. The laughing gas is going to make it so that Juliana feels more at ease and feels relaxed and hopefully feel giddy. If you put up too much of this though, you deny her brain the oxygen she needs for her to function so she might get dizzy, she might feel lightheaded. So we're gonna hopefully avoid doing any of that. All right. I'm gonna get hooked up. I'm scared, but I'm excited too. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna turn on the scavenging system so it sucks out all the extra air. So I just turn on this little switch. <laughs> you hear that hissing? That's that's a good noise. That's all the, the scavenging that's going on. This meter right here, these are called our flow meter. This allows us to properly gauge how much oxygen has been used and versus the laughing gas. This green guy right here, I like to call this your third lung. It's a reservoir where all of the oxygen and laughing gas sits in there. Now I can see oxygen is flowing at a rate of about three liters per minute. We're gonna estimate Juliana to be at about seven liters per minute, which means the amount of oxygen that she's gonna get flowing in, okay? You're gonna see that the second, or the third lung rather, right here, this is gonna be inflating. This is an appropriate level where, again, the oxygen is gonna be coming into this bag as well as the laughing gas itself. All that stuff's gonna come out here, come through the tubing, and eventually up into the mask, which we're about to pull onto Juliana's face. <laughs> this is just oxygen, so we're not sedating her just yet. We got Juliana totally hooked up to the oxygen right now. This machine right here is my vitals monitoring equipment. Make sure that the patient is safe, measures a bunch of stuff. I'm only gonna be using it just to show Juliana's oxygen levels go down and her heart rate's gonna go down when she's fully sedated. So you'll actually be able to see those numbers. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook up Juliana to a pulse oximeter which allows us to measure the oxygen. This nail polish might make it a little bit hard to dictate how much oxygen flow she has. But it's a good color. Yeah, well, it's not practical for what we're doing. <laughs> so what we're gonna do in just a moment, we're gonna see. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's it saying about me? Your oxygen level's at 100%, which is good. And your heart rate's normal. It's 75, 76, a little bit excited right now, I'd imagine, because you're just <laughs> going a little crazy, crazy. <laughs> When she's starting to be sedated, you're gonna see the heart rate will probably dip below 60, maybe even to 50. Her oxygen level is gonna go down to probably around like 95, 96. That's the displaced with the nitrous that's in there. Let's get it going. <laughs> oh, did I die? No, that's just letting us know that it's working. <laughs> Frequently we'll put the patients in blankets to make them feel more comfortable. All right, you keep breathing. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we know that she's good about seven liters per minute. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start bringing up the laughing gas. So we're about seven, seven and a half. We'll bring it down to seven just for simple math. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna increase the laughing gas. So we're gonna bring it up to about 1.5 and we're gonna decrease this down to 5.5. So the ratio that she's getting now of the laughing gas to the oxygen is now increasing. So she's gonna start to feel the effects. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, so she's just, you know, starting to hopefully feel it. I'll give you a minute, and if you're not feeling like you're getting anything, we'll just keep increasing it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease the oxygen more, and we're gonna increase the nitrous. So what we're gonna do is just keep adjusting it. I can only decrease the oxygen so much because we don't want to, you know, deny her that oxygen, but we'll continue to increase the, uh, the nitrous as need to be. Most of my patients really start feeling it around four to five liters per minute. Some of the bigger patients might need it around six to seven. Julian and I will estimate probably about four or four and a half. What are we at now? Barely three. Just keep taking deep breaths through your nose. Oh man. Are you starting to feel it already? Uh, you all right? You don't feel sick at all? No. You're totally safe, okay? I've done this I hundreds know. of times. It's very controlled. <laughs> Are you starting to feel it now? No. You're already starting to feel it? No. Denial. <laughs> you want me to increase it some more? Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start cranking it up here. 
crank it up to level four. We're gonna decrease the oxygen relative, and that's about as low as I can go. So anything more now, she's in the max or the minimum amount of oxygen I can give her before it can cause some problems or she might not feel good afterwards. So we always keep that flow there. Oh. <laughs> you doing okay? You feel relaxed? <laughs> What's so funny? You okay? Sometimes patients get really touchy feely. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I need more. You want more? Give me another hit. Let's pump her up to five. So now it's a matter of making sure she feels comfortable. And I will frequently do this kind of stuff for patients when we're doing. Whoa. Uh oh. Whoa. Yeah, so I don't watch Avatar, so I don't know what that means. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel! Make sure you hit like and subscribe. <laughs> Smash that subscribe button. This doesn't feel like it's too much. I know, I feel great. Pump it up to level six. <laughs> You're funny. I did not say anything. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> so we're starting to get a little bit of displacement of oxygen because of the laughing gas. Oh yeah. <laughs> Her heart rate's going up because she's very excited right now. Frequently what I will do is I'll also give a patient a sedative pill. So instead of just being laughing gas sedated, <laughs> stop hitting me. I love them. This is actually pretty common when you have the patient on a little bit too much laughing gas. So her oxygen level is going down a little bit. You can see she is becoming more sedated. You can see her heart rate's going down. You don't feel lightheaded or sick, do you? No, I feel great. So if I were to pull out some teeth on you, you'd be okay? <laughs> yeah, pull them out. Okay. See, she doesn't care. Pull this one out. No, we're not gonna pull that one <laughs> no, out. No, pull it, pull it. I dare you. <laughs> Can you stop? <laughs> For the patient to feel more sedated, I would put them on a sedative pill, triazolam, lorazepam, Xanax from people All the as. Pams, all the Pams. No. Even Jim's Pam, throw her on there. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. That's why they call it laughing gas. <laughs> put them. Ew, my laugh is so ugly. Tell God to change it. I can't do that. Whoa. You okay? You don't feel lightheaded, right? No, I feel so so good. I'm so happy to be here. This is laughing gas. It's very effective. It keeps you just relaxed. And frequently I'll do this for my patients who need to get a lot of fillings done or need to get a teeth pulled, need to get root canals done. This is a very effective way to keep many patients just relaxed. Her vitals are good, so I'm not concerned. Like I said, she's a little bit of oxygen displacement, but still well within the range of safe. If she started dipping below like 94, 93, then I'd be starting to become a concern. Less than 90 is, is actually concerning. And then you can see her heart rate is in the lower end of what's normal. You usually like to see a patient between 60 to 100 beats per minute. <laughs> Oh, whoa. She's spaced out. Dog, this is crazy stuff you got here. I know it is. It is good Does stuff. Does anybody just come to the dentist and just be like, can I have some of that stuff? You know, I never thought about it. I mean, I guess I could. I do charge for this. So, How much? Uh, without insurance, I think it's $92. Okay, but like, what if I came into this office today and said, Doc, give me some of that laughing gas? Would you just be like, okay, 100 bucks? I wouldn't do that, no. This is not a la carte, you know, this, this isn't like, you know. <laughs> This is in a restaurant where you can pick and choose what you want. Like, you can get laughing gas, but you have to have a procedure done. You should get laughing gas. Okay, so in dental school, we got to practice on each other. It was kind of funny. So what we would like to do, me and my buddies, is we'd actually take the lung <laughs> here and we just squeeze it to flush into a whole bunch all at once. This I would never do on a patient, but it's my baby sister. Hey, give it to me. Okay, now I'm going to flush it just like this. Ready? One, two, three. So that is a lot all at once. That's why my friends would do that to me and mess me up. <laughs> oh. So this is a sign that she's over sedated right now. No, I'm not great. Big fan of the laughing gas. So if you have a bad day at home, you want to come here? Yes, please. Please let me come here when I'm sad. The panacea, laughing gas. I want to come here when I'm sad. You can come here when you're sad. But Listen, your oxygen is, is going down pretty low. In fact, we're gonna start taking you off. No, 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 no,
checking out the oxygen. I'm going to start bringing you back, okay? She's at 87 was her oxygen, and 49 is her heart rate. Just keep taking a deep breath. You don't feel lightheaded at all? No, I feel amazing. Okay, just keep taking breaths through your oxygen. It's going to reset itself now and say, okay, the numbers will be much better. So laughing gas is very, very safe. You're going to see in just a moment that her vitals are going to bounce back up. That's because I got her off the nitrous. She's at zero right now, and I got her oh, almost back at her tidal volume. It was so much fun. I know it was. I love you a lot. I love you too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're welcome. I like had so much fun. My stomach hurts. I feel like I have a six pack. Her oxygen's going back up. Her heart rate's going to start increasing again. That's how fast this stuff works. So you can get a patient back to normal. Like she was giddy. I'm not even kidding. A couple minutes ago. When's the last time you did this? Legitimately, it was in residency when we were practicing on each other. Did you feel like I felt? Yeah. I actually almost passed out. Let me get your oxygen back to where it needs to be, okay? Was I'll... it low, low? It was low. Yeah, it was about like 84. That's that's a little concerning. That's why I'm going to get you back up. I feel up. great. I know you do, but your monitor said otherwise. Right at 96. What did I know? That's a passing grade. That's a good grade. That was the year she was born. Oh! There we go. Look at it. Oxygen level's perfect. Heart rate's going back to where it should be. What's it supposed to be at, my heart rate? Anywhere between 60 to 100. Oh, so I'm Gucci Mane. You are Gucci right now. <laughs> That's how fast this stuff works. It's pretty cool. I had so much fun today. I'm glad you did. Usually what I will do is I'll have the patient sitting in my oxygen for about five minutes or so just to make sure that the patient gets enough. Sometimes the patients feel tired afterwards. I always tell them, don't rush. There's no rush to get out of here. And this kind of does it to you, especially when you're laughing like that, that expends a lot of energy. You all right? You don't feel giddy anymore though, right? No, I'm so happy inside though. Yeah, the level I had you at, I would not sedate a patient to. That's too much. I would do just enough they feel comfortable. And again, I could get her near sleeping or close to it if we had her on a sedative pill, but we didn't do that today. Hey guys. You started crying, did you know that? I can feel wet here. All right, so Juliana's been in the oxygen now for about seven, eight minutes, and her vitals are appropriate. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get this taken off, and she's gonna just hang out here for a little bit. You feel okay? All right, so she feels a little bit out of it. Still is to be expected. Hope you guys learned something. I think that's a lot of fun to use. So for the safe. much fun. You know, if it's, you ever nervous about getting a dental procedure done, ask your dentist if they use laughing gas. We do, and it's pretty effective. We like to use it. All right, guys, that was me on laughing gas. Thank you to Dr. C for being the best and taking time out of his life to do this with me on a Saturday. Yeah, I know. This is my only day off. Aww. I wish you guys could have all felt that. That was like the most happy I was ever happy. That was the happiest I've ever been. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. <laughs> Yeah.